I think one of the challenges or one of the concerns I had um, with joining a mission organization is how are my skills coming from the aerospace world going to be used? You know, God created me with a passion and just because I'm now working in missions doesn't mean that I still don't have that passion. What I did of value in the secular world, in industry, has even more value here as I'm working for the kingdom. And I lived in Japan for two years, and I was working hard, making money, but one day I was laying on my bed, staring at the ceiling and wondering, is that it? And I thought, no way, there must be something out there that is worth living for and dying for if it's needed. And I said, God, please show me what do you want from me? What is the mission that you have for me. Growing up, I had more so heard missionary stories of people standing on street corners, going to remote villages, but not how you can use your profession or the skills that you already have to serve the Lord. One of the most rewarding parts of using my counseling background for God's kingdom is being able to affirm that God loves people, walk with them in their story, and know that I'm living with a purpose. Using science uh, is not new to me, but working in the world of hydroponics, that is something that was very, very different. The last two, three years being involved with this project has caused me to grow more spiritually than any other time in my life. And I think the reason is, is because I was so far out of my comfort zone uh, in what I was learning, and it brought me to my knees. I love God with all my heart, and I really believe that everyone should have the opportunity to hear about Him and to hear about His love. And what excites me about mobilizing the next generation is helping these people to, to realize that God is amazing, and we have such a precious opportunity and privilege to carry out His love to the world. And we can't just live this life knowing that there are people that will wake up desperate, but they have no clue about the God that loved them so much. And we should take this message to these people. <laughs>